YouTubers, Pastor Bob in CC. Hey, you guys know anybody that when you go out to eat, no matter where you go, no matter what they get, they always complain. No matter what, they always complain. They can't just sit down, have a nice meal, enjoy everything. Nope, they got to complain. Uh, they can even pick the restaurant and you go out there and they still complain. It's their restaurant they complain. My sister Leona and her husband Paul, they're two people like that. When you go out to eat, they always complain, even when they pick the restaurant. And uh, one of the problems is they always order something different that they've never tried. And then they wind up not liking it, so they complain about it. I mean, you'd think these two were restaurant critics. So listen, I'm not that way. When I go to a restaurant, I order the same thing every time. I know what I'm going to get. When I go to Outback, I get ribs and a blooming onion. When I go to Olive Garden, I get ravioli, breadsticks. I mean, I know what I'm getting. If I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to like it. And uh, then again, on the other hand, I'm a goat. My wife will tell you I'm a goat. I'll eat absolutely everything. And uh, I love it. There's not many things I don't like. But listen, you know there's a guy, his name is Rob Bell. And a few years back, Rob Bell wrote a book called Love Wins. And in this book, he said that there is no hell. And even if there is a hell, it's temporary. People go in there and then they get corrected and they wind up seeing things God's way and then they come out and go to heaven. So uh, he believes that everyone, absolutely everyone, will wind up in heaven. And uh, he has a lot of scripture that he quotes, that he pulls out of the Bible, and uh, completely takes it out of context to prove his point. And one of them, is core, of course, is the scripture that says, it's not your Father's will that anyone should perish, therefore nobody will. Well, it wasn't God's will that Adam and Eve would fall in the garden either, but they did. So listen, Rob Bell, he kind of thinks the, the Bible's like a restaurant. You just look at it, you pick out what you want off the menu, and the rest of it just goes away. And in his book, There Is No Hell, you know, he just, uh, he just absolutely says it. Nope, love wins. There's no hell. Love wins. In the end, everybody's saved. You know, there's a lot of scripture in the Bible that you don't have to take out of context. And one of them, of course, is Revelation 20.10. It says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. You know, uh, Rob Bell's book, Love Wins, it, uh, it got a lot of acclaim uh, when it first came out. I even had some Christians ask me, Hey, did you read that book? And I went, No, I didn't read it. It's a bunch of garbage. And they go, well, he made a lot of good points. You know, everybody wants to believe that no one's going to go to hell. And everybody wants to believe that everybody's saved. But people, that's not scripture and it's not the truth. Uh, Francis Chan, he looked into that book and he immediately wrote a book of his own called Erasing Hell, where he completely contradicted every single thing that uh, Rob Bell said, and he set the record straight, that there is a hell, and you better watch out, you don't want to go there. People, listen. When you read your Bible, you don't have to have anybody tell you what it says in the Greek. In other words, you, you just read the scripture for what it says. No one has to tell you, yeah, that's what it says, but this is what it means in the Greek. No. You read it. In King James English, you read it, and it says what it says. And you can put different scriptures together where it says here, like what Jesus says about hell, what James says about hell, what Jude says about hell, and when all three of them line up, and then what Paul says about hell, they all lined up, they say the exact same thing, you can pretty much believe that's it. But anyway, listen. The Bible speaks for itself, and no one has to tell you what it says. We all know how to read. We all know how to comprehend. You can comprehend it for yourself. Never let anybody tell you, yeah, that's what it says, but let me tell you what it means. I just saw the other day, uh, I don't know the guy's name, I didn't catch his name, but somebody just wrote a complete 
comment commentary to every scripture in the Bible. In other words, they have a Bible with their commentary on every page, and it's telling you what he said was that every scripture you know in the Bible is misinterpreted. You know, it's only going to get worse as time goes on. So listen, read the Bible for what it says. In plain English, exactly what it says, that's what it means. Don't ever let anybody tell you, yeah, that's what it means, but that's, <laughs> I said that wrong. Don't ever let anybody tell you, yeah, that's what it says, but let me tell you what it means. Don't fall for that. Anyway, heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal. <laughs>